Collinson, wake up. This uh, last message to the class of 2024 off to Charles Ward. Thank you, Mr. Cook, but I'm going to sadly decline your offer and pass it over to my uh, good friend, Dylan. Class of 2024, it's been real. <laughs> Day that we came back to school with our masks off. Let's make some music, make some money, find some models for wives. The dumbest reason I got a jug was because my brother, Emmett Romeus, got a jug in his class and they ended up misassigning it to me. So making popping noises with my friend in the back of Mr. Roach's class junior year. My dog ate my homework and I got a jet for it. I'm definitely gonna miss seeing all my friends every day most. I'm definitely gonna miss nine period study long, specifically on Fridays. Yes. Get jobs and offices and wake up for the morning Alright, um, my favorite memory at Fenwick is sophomore year when me and Mike were running late to class and uh, Mike, Mike fell face first down the wall of stairs. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> miss most just like the little things that Fenwick has to offer like the announcements, fist bumping, father pet accord when you're leaving, and really just all the little things that Fenwick has to offer. And I will definitely miss most just like the community aspect because Fenwick was definitely like a second home to me and like all my friends were here and it was just like such a great place to be. class was probably uh, geometry with Mr. Cotty. 
Um, he would always be doing his like karate moves and somersaults, so it was always entertaining. Um, my favorite class is probably first, third, and I think it's done well this oh. semester. It's great. I don't, I don't do anything. My advice to freshmen would be to not be afraid to talk to anybody and try to be friends with as many people as you can. And my advice to freshmen would be that even if like the day sucks or the week sucks, in retrospect, high school goes by really fast, so just try to make the best out of it. Um, what I'm probably gonna miss most about being at Fenwick is uh all the like sporting events and like especially the games, big football games and that I've played in and finishing out lacrosse season now. It's uh yeah, that's what I'm gonna miss most I think. Yeah, I agree. I think I'm gonna miss uh baseball the most. I've made so many friendships that I think will last a lifetime and uh I've gained so much through front of baseball, so yeah, I'm trying to set the most. Fenwick. Four years ago, we began our lives here as Fenwick students. Scared freshmen, unsure of what was to come and what these walls would hold for us. Never could we have imagined this place would become as special as it is now. To think that time would fly by so fast, that these four years would somehow be over so quickly was unimaginable. Yet here we are, in our final moments, wondering how much longer we can make this last before we all hear that 310 bell one last time, walk out of the atrium one last time, and before we all wave goodbye to Mr. Sperandio standing at the exit of the parking garage one last time. It's easy to say that high school was hard and that we're glad to be moving on, but it's hard to say thank you, to say we're grateful for the school we've spent the last four years in. So thank you, Fenwick. Thank you for four of the most significant years of our lives. Thank you for everything we've learned 
and for shaping us into the young men and women we've become. Thank you for all the lessons, all the laughs, and all the opportunities. Throughout our time as Fenwick students, we've had ups and downs, and the good and the bad. But from all of that comes friendships, experiences, and successes. Thank you for the teachers that have changed our lives and the relationships we formed along the way. These last four years gave us memories we'll never forget. This school is more than just a building filled with desks. It's a place we call home. We may have only been Fenwick students for four years, but we will be friars forever.